I don't actually know. Um, he's, uh, I don't know whether to laugh, cry, or a bit sad. Or, I, don't, I don't know. It's, um, it's a weird feeling at this moment in time. I'm just, yeah, I'm just elated for the boys, you know, just to get it over the line because it meant so much to them, especially being here at home, being the, the only, the fourth one in Irish history, you know, and the first one at home. It's, it's a special occasion, especially with the weekend that it's been outside of our hotel, etc. you know what I mean? So we felt a duty that we, we, we couldn't let people down and I would say there's a, a sense of relief to get the job done, you know, um, but immensely proud. I mean, Grand Slams are not just one on nights like this, the one over, not just the eight week period, but over the time that we've been together, you know, so we've been building to this and I'm just glad that we got the job done. Johnny, you just sum up the atmosphere out there, even when you came in from finishing your warm up, just that roar, just as you were going back in, and that's where it set the, the tempo. Yeah, it was an uh, unbelievable uh, atmosphere. It's very special. Um, I don't. I'd say we had probably 98% of the stadium. I reckon uh, it was, yeah, incredible. You know, uh, you know, fair play to England. The way they turned up, they were, uh, you know, really good. You know, to bounce back from last week in, in, in that fashion speaks a lot about their captain. Their coach and um, so it's uh, they made it tough and we made it tough for ourselves and um, so we'll, we'll take lots of learnings out of it I'm sure but for the moment we might just enjoy it for 48 hours and not worry about it too much yeah how important is it to enjoy these moments they don't come around very often they certainly don't uh, like fourth time ever and um, just shows how, how hard it is and you know every literally why it is so hard is because every game that you play for your country means so much so for England today it meant so much to them to come here and and spoil the party people were saying but to win for, for themselves you know they want they, they put everything into it and uh, it's the same every single game you got to turn up five five weeks in a row and uh, I think we did um, you know I think we were on it today but we just made some silly errors at times made things difficult but uh, yeah it, it's fun of Grand Slam uh, you know, it's pinch yourself stuff. And you're out with your kids with the trophy walking around the Viva. Pretty amazing. Yeah, you, you, you couldn't make it up really. Um, it is stuff of, I said during the week, you, stuff of dreams. And, you know, growing up, you all you want to do was play for Ireland. Um, I said it during the week, I, I don't know why, but I always wanted to captain Ireland. And uh, this fella asked me to do it. And, Probably one of the best days of my life, and then obviously to have this today, um, even better. So uh, they're a great group, great group, great management team, great uh, bunch of players. And uh, it's said in the dressing room there, it's not the end. It's the there's plenty more left in this team. Just lastly, is there any chance we'll see you again playing in the Six Nations? Well, no, you can't. Uh, you can't sort of take that. You know, uh, no, no. Look. <laughs> Uh, not the time. It's been, it's, no, it's not the time. It's, mm -hmm. But it, it's, uh, today was about us as a team, like, you know what I mean? Like, to, to, to finish the campaign, we, something that we set out to do eight weeks ago. Like, when you set out to do something and then you achieve it, it's, it's a very special feeling in that dressing room. And uh, for the moment, let's just enjoy the next 48 hours. It's, uh, like I said, it's a special, special group and a special, uh, special team. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, really, what, what have you learned about this team during the Six Nations Championship? In particular, perhaps today was got very nervous, but you were still able to, to get the job done. Well, I think the same as we've all learned. Uh, I think everyone in the room understands that you know this has been this has been a, a Six Nations that's contained. Every, I mean, we get to the final day because we've earned the right because of how we've played get here and when we when we dust ourselves down and look back and reflect on this it's obviously going to stick with us forever like the, the, the memory but the, the memory that will stick with us more than ever is the, the togetherness, togetherness of the group I mean the adversity that we've been through and gone through and uh, relished it really you know and come out the other side I mean you look at all of the games they've they've, they've had 
all sorts of stuff going on, but we've always found a way. And again today, you know, we was disappointed at half time, uh, but again, we, we found a way and, you know, we'll analyse that performance and, and pull it apart again. But the reality is, it's a bonus point win against a good side that was here to really spoil the party for themselves. And, and fair play to England, I thought they was courageous in, in how they went about the game. They made it unbelievably tough, but I think this Six Nations will um, be remembered for us um, as uh, the group Six Nations that went through a lot. I mean, I think we went through 47, 48 players in, in, in camp. Um, 30 odd of those obviously took the field. All of them are in the dressing room there, and that's that means more to us than than anything. Johnny, uh, Johnny you said well, there's more to come. How excited are you about captaining this team into a World Cup and continuing the incredible momentum that you have at the moment? Yeah, well, that that's the that's the goal, isn't it? That's the that's what we spoke about building towards. Um, you know, I think this is a is a part of the journey and. Uh, very special, like like the series in New Zealand was incredibly special. Um, you know, we don't have to have a poor Six Nations to go on and win a World Cup. You know, you can go and you know do. You know, when England won in 2003, they had a, a Grand Slam in the same year. So, um, you know, we need we need to just we need to keep our feet on the ground first of all. We need to keep building. And there's a lot of guys that have missed this campaign that are injured that are going to come back and really put pressure on the guys that have, that have been playing and uh, that's what we need come come World Cup time we need 40 45 players all at the same level fighting for positions Andy the moment sorry Neil we're just uh, Neil's trying to get in for about four questions so we'll, uh, Johnny we'll just when you converted the third try you did a little dance can you just describe your moments at that particular moment it's embarrassing that wasn't it <laughs> very embarrassing <laughs> I was cringing <laughs> 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 I jumped in the air, no? Let's pretend you, let's pretend you did then. Well, I, no, I didn't. Definitely, I'm, not a, I'm not a dancer, I can confirm that. You will be uh, tonight. I knew it was like 13 points. I knew it was a, a big kick to, to, you know, to go three scores clear with thing. And, and that's why you do all the practice that you do. And uh, so I was absolutely delighted. Um, so yeah, I didn't do a dance. Now. Was there any concern? When Jamie Jordan went over in a couple of minutes on your part at that stage, about the game. At the end well, of the I was lying on my back, uh, so I was. I, I knew the lads would, would would bring it home. You know, we 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 have enough experience in this team now to to go through some some of those tough moments to, to take lead in the team, and, and James would have would have gathered the troops then uh, and uh, given the right messages, I'm sure. But uh, the lads saw it out well, and obviously going and getting another try was was fantastic. How is the boy? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't feel great at the moment. Um, I suppose I deserve it for trying to get involved in them all. Um, it's not not where I should be. Uh, but I, I thought that I'd be able to hold it up a little bit and just came down and uh, yeah, it doesn't feel too good at the moment. Johnny Nutcat said that um, today was really about staying calm. If England did ever get on top, if they had a period when they you know they were ahead on the scoreboard, was that part of it? It was about staying calm and not you know sticking to the plan when, when England were ahead on the board. Yeah, I think, well, they obviously had a clear plan today and they came and executed really well in the first, you know, 20, 25 minutes. I thought we defended really well um, in, in that period. Um, obviously to go 6-0 down. Um, but then to come back and be 10-6 up and, uh, you know, we, we we didn't take that chance before half-time. I thought we had, a, we had a good few line breaks in the first half and we just didn't capitalise. We, we threw the ball away too many times today. Um, we talk about, you know, seeing the pack, don't just guess, and we, we guess too many times. And uh, thankfully, it didn't cost us, but it could have. And they're the things that we need to take out of the game going forward into into next time we're together. Jack, you got a huge standing ovation when you were walking off the pitch. Were you able to kind of take it in, or was your head still very much in the game and the the injury? Yeah, it was. Bit of both, really. Uh, I, I was aware of it. I was, I was uh, you know, blown away by the the, the crowd today. Um, but you know, at the time, I was asking the doc, <laughs> how long would it be for this? How long would it be for that? Uh, so yeah, uh, I didn't get a chance to fully take it in. But look, it, like I said, it was all about the team today to 
to come here and win a Grand Slam, uh, incredibly special day and need to go and enjoy the next couple of days. Can you tell us what you both made of the red card? It seemed to come out of key points to be at the moment. Yes, it's, it's the rules, isn't it? Like, you know, um, it's unfortunate, I, I, I believe, you know, um, but it's the rules and, uh, yeah, I suppose you've got to trust the people, as always, who, uh, who who see it for what it is um, in real time and on the screen, etc., and trust them to make the right decision. And, Andy, you were very open about the um, team's messaging around winning this competition. At what point does the conversation turn towards the World Cup and how much confidence does winning the Grand Slam give this team going into the World Cup? I've just been saying to Johnny that there's bigger fish to fry than this, you know. So, we're on to the World Cup. No, we're not. We're going to enjoy this next 48 hours at 100%. But, uh, we're a good side that's nowhere near reached its potential. And I've kept on saying over the last couple of weeks that uh, that's what we're striving to do. Um, like Johnny said, we'll get a few people back um, to, to, to compete and, and train hard. And, you know, everyone's going to get better in, in, in the summer. We get to spend a lot more time together. So we, we expect our, our, our side when we get to the first game of the World Cup to be a lot better than what we are now. And that's the reality. Just for you personally, how, how much do moments and, and days like this vindicate the decision to move all your family over to <laughs> Ireland to a different country? Did you ever feel like you, you needed that vindication when, when you left England? Not really, no. Not really. No, mm. I'm just... Uh... Just so glad, uh, just just so glad for for the group because it's fitting for for the group. I mean, look at the year that we've had. You know, to be able to finish it off like that is, is so so deserving in in so many ways. I mean, you know, Gary Ringrose getting his fiftieth uh, last week, and he couldn't he couldn't uh, receive his fiftieth cap. So we just give it him now in the in, in the changing rooms and. Josh van der Fleur is his fiftieth as well. Um, wow, what a what a season he's had. What a fitting moment it is to, to get his 50th cap on such an occasion like that and for Captain Johnny here to 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 finish his Six Nations uh, campaign he's he's been saying all week this is what dreams are made of like you know he doesn't come around that often and it's unbelievably fitting that in my opinion uh, the best player ever to play for Ireland is able to sign off on a Grand Slam on St Patrick's Day in front of his own crowd and you know just there's a lot of stars that have aligned over over the course of the last eight weeks and come together accumulated into th this evening. Take the last couple of guys. Johnny, how important has Andy been since he came in as head coach? He has to be very positive now after <laughs> I was saying, <laughs> very positive. Um, since day one he's, he's put his own stamp on it. Um, I think the, the best thing about him is he hasn't changed one bit from going from assistant to head coach. Uh, still still very popular, even with the lads he doesn't pick. Um, you know, we've been able to, to how do I put this bounce back after I let myself down when I got taken off against France. Uh, that was probably the low point, um, real low point. For, and then, for you or for me? Uh, for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. Uh, and this is a high point, but I hope it's not the highest point. Um, but very special coach. Like, you know, when you have him, Paul O'Connell, and Simon Easterby, Catty, John Fogarty, motivating you during the week, like, it's, uh, it's a pretty special dressing room to be part of. So, all credit to, to him, really, to, for putting it together. Um, and, uh, yeah, roll on. Roll on the World Cup, that's what we need to, to focus on there. Sorry, guys, we'll finish with Keane. Andy, can I just ask you about Ryan Baird, who's kind of coming of age performance there for the Yeah, I, I, you, you've, you've had me on record over the last few weeks saying how he's matured um, within, within our group, you know, um, getting so much across his detail and the things that you've seen the, in the, especially in the second half, I thought he was immense in the second half. Um, some of the stuff that you've seen there is, is him figuring it out how to put his stamp on the game, you know, and the stuff at the breakdown, what you saw, and his efforts as far as his kick chase and everything like that is the stuff that goes unseen, but it doesn't go unseen to us because it's, it's constant week in, week out now in training. So he's matured massively over, over this eight weeks and he'll be on to bigger and better things, I'm sure.